this was in its bid to seize control of carriers like Mosul. Uh, and here's what he had to say. I'd like for our audience to take a listen for a minute. Because, uh, of course, they said, look, there were several things that surprised us about ISIL. The degree to which they were able to form their own coalition, both inside of Syria uh, and inside of uh, northwestern Iraq. The military capability that they exhibited, the collapse of the Iraqi security forces. Yeah, in those initial days, there were a few surprises. What's your reaction to those remarks, uh, the fact that the administration was actually surprised by the strength of ISIS? Well, I think General Dempsey's, you know, calling it like it is, and I think what you're looking for in a senior military leader like General Dempsey is candor. He's not trying to be politically correct there. He's saying it like it is. Now, the question is, why is it that we were surprised? And the answer is that there's just a lot that goes on in this part of the world that the United States can't monitor, much less control. And, and that's one of the things we have to realize, that we're not omnipotent. No matter how good our special forces are, no matter how good our technology is, no matter how brave our service members, no matter how much we've sacrificed, 100,000 Americans or 10,000 Americans are not going to be able to handle the transformation involving tens and hundreds of millions of Muslims as they go through the throes of modernization and compete geostrategically in this region. The wisest U.S. policy is to shape it, to work it, just as the administration is trying to do, stay out of the center of it, don't put U.S. ground troops in there. Work it with unmanned aerial vehicles and technology. Protect our friends like Jordan and Israel. Shape the conflict from the outside. Try to limit it. Try to cut off the flow of reinforcements. Cut off the money to it. But uh, don't get dragged into it because there's nothing that reinforce ISO more than the opportunity to fight on the ground against Americans. Then they could convince every Muslim that they're recruiting that they're the United States is against Islam. It isn't true. And we don't want to play that game. So we have to be smart when we fight against this. Time is on our side. Big time is on our side. Let's don't get panicked into doing something that makes it worse. General Clark, thank you so much for joining us today with your insights. Really appreciate it. All the best. Thank you, Uma.